Hi my razzlers, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all fabulous! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up an art website so you can sell your art and to show you how to design it and give you top tips and advice. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click the little subscribe button and join my part of my Razzlers family and click that little bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video you'll be told. The website I use is called Wix. So W I X. I'm not sponsored for this video. I just think it's a really cool website to use, and I'm going to show you how to kind of work it out and get going with it. There are some bits that are a bit more tricky than others. As you can see, this is the start page when you first come to the website. It just shows you all different things that you can do on the website and all that jazz. So as you can see, you would click by get started but I've already got one so literally by doing this you say get started and you set up with your email address and then you obviously get a notification and you're ready to go so you can log in through Facebook or your Google if you want to for myself I just used my email because then I thought it's cool to have a business email that links with the website as well because then you can keep on top of all your business emails. But you don't have to do this, but I thought it's just the best way to do it. So as you can see, I've got my website here. And you can go on to... You can have different websites as well. But I've just got one. And you can have it for free, or you can have it... So when people buy stuff, they pay you. So if you want someone to pay you, you have to, of course pay monthly for this so if I click edit site then it will take you on to the page where I can show you how to make your website all fabulous so I'm gonna try and do this in like a really simple step-by-step -step kind of way of showing you what to do so when you start up you do get given a home page and some examples as you can see already I've of course changed them to what I want them to be and then with this you can literally click on anywhere on the page and then you can change the design to whatever theme you want or whatever design you want because there's loads of different options and with mine I wanted it to be quite modern but quite plain as well because I wanted the art to stand out the most of course like you would do this kind of thing but it just depends what you're trying to promote and show off basically and then for the front page because you want something that stands out if you click on that area you can either choose one image or you can choose a gallery or video pattern and as well you can choose like if you want it to be a strip like this is so when you literally would go over it it hovers over like kind of a show wheel and then if you click on that you can change what images you want within the show wheel because you might want to update it now and then and put your recent stuff into that area um, then you've got this bit here as well your main areas where you want people to go so you've got of course about the artist art canvases and art prints so there's three main areas that I've chosen to have but it depends what kind of what you want to put onto your site and then I've got custom make canvases that are available that you can click on and then that will take you to an area where you can send an email of what kind of thing you want to have done and then you can obviously chat to me so to make your links work, because sometimes this is quite tricky, you literally would have to click on, well you want to choose what design you would want first, so you've got all these different designs you can choose from, but I thought this is most eye-catching visually for me anyway, but you can choose like different layouts of how you want it, and then when you've clicked on it, you then would of course put the imagery what people want 
what makes them want to click on it and then you can add a page to where this would go when people click onto it because of course when they click onto it it'll go to a different page so this is obviously set up as artists about the artist so then that would go to about the artist so this would go onto this page where it, of course it says everything about me and what I do and all that jazz basically so then it would take you onto a separate page right let's show you how I do my art stuff so with the art canvases exactly the same again of course you can add what text you want into it and add how you want to look and what imagery again and then of course you'd create a page linking to this page again so then that will take you onto this page where you can see I've put click on images of the style of work and then I've got my zodiac stuff, modern fine art stuff, modern twist, modern art, or sorry montage art, illustration, pop art and surrealist stuff. So I divide it up into different categories so it's easier for people to find what they want. So then if you click on example the zodiac one, of course normally if you're not in your editing area it, you could just click on it and take you there but because there's so many different categories that you can click on when you click on it that you can change that it won't let you of course do that you have to literally click on your sidebar so you can see where it takes you so for that it would take me to my zodiac ones so I want to show you how do you'd have to put like your products into this area so with this I've got a slideshow of my art on the top and then I've got all my different art canvases that you can choose from. But to do this you would have to go into Manage Store and you would put in the products what you want to sell. So for this you've got your dashboard but you want to go on Store Products and then you literally do new product and if it's a physical or digital so the my stuff is a physical thing because when people choose they want to buy it then they'd let me know and then I'd send it to them so then you can add your images or add your videos so I'll show you one of mine what I've done already just so you can see how I do it so which one should we click on? Let's go for this one. Why not? If you didn't know, fun fact, my star sign is a Capricorn. If there's any other like tips or advice you want on anything to do with this kind of thing, do put in the comment box below because then I know if you want me to chit chat about anything in more detail because I'm running through this quite quickly, just so it gives you some like tips on how to do it and stuff. And as well, remember to give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff, just because then I know as well. So as you can see here, I've got two images. I've got an image of the canvas on the wall and a close-up of the image. And then you can add it to a collection because later on you click on a collection so it shows all what is in that collection in that area rather than all your work at once. So then you'd write the name and for mine I put obviously canvas in that box as well because then it tells people what it is they're buying um, and obviously this is part of the zodiac signer collection and for a while I found this quite tricky but you have to work out that so on this page you can add an option if you want your paintings or whatever you're selling once again so you can put colour or size of course I've already done this so that's why the size is because it's already in use and then you literally can put in here what size is you want to sell the image at so when they go to buy it it's like a drop down box and then they can click on the drop down box to choose the sizes and then you need to click this little box because then it comes up with the areas that you can change all this in what I got confused with to be honest at the beginning 
so that's how you do that so then for example I'll just show you guys I have to go back to let me go back to let's go on here a second so if I view it live you can see what I mean like this is what I was saying about earlier when I was saying if you click well put the mouse across it it shows up the imagery the pictures what's really cool I think anyway so then you can click on here so then it'll take you to like I said the canvas area and then I'll click on my zodiac star and as well as you can see I've put click here so it's quite obvious and then I've done it so from a distance it is literally the canvas but when you put the mouse over it it shows more detail of what it is so if I click on this one for example so that one is Leo so when I was saying about the drop down box literally this is this bit here so then when you click on it it drops down and shows you how much it is as well and you can share it on Facebook and Twitter as well if you want to just show someone this work and think it's really cool so I've added that into the detail but I just wanted to show you guys of what I meant when I said about the drop-down box for your pricing so let's go back to the editing area so I think that is the basic stuff that you need to know I'm trying to think of what else um, I mean it automatically was really cool puts it into a like you can add it to a basket and you just need to set up your PayPal so when people pay you it goes straight into your PayPal and then they send you an email saying basically send your art out now because someone has brought it so it keeps you updated with stuff and yeah that's basically it really I mean you have to just work out yourself of how you want to do certain things or the layout because there's so many different ways you can do stuff on here I mean I have changed it now and then just to try out different things but it does take you a while to get your head around certain bits but like I said remember when you can click on there it does say create page from this item what's quite handy because then you're not you know it's going to link to that page otherwise it won't link yeah, so make sure you do that and make sure when you want to add a product you have to go to manage store because then it adds you can add that product you can I think add products from other places as well of course with mine I just wanted it from my art stuff because that is basically what the site is yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know if there's anything else you want me to show you guys in another video or I can put in the comment box oh this is um funny enough I didn't say about this, this is linked to my Instagram as well so whilst we're here go and check out my Instagram at Razzle Dazzle Them Art and I am also on Facebook so you can go and check me out there where I put up my art stuff that you can see what I'm doing my latest stuff and get involved and let me know what you like and what you want me to do next and do check out my other YouTube videos of my up and coming different art pieces that I'm doing and get involved and let me know what you like and what you're sure doesn't work because it's always cool to hear what you guys have to say and remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and join my Razdaz family and click that little bell so you'll be notified of all my big just time videos I do and I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you do and keep creative and let me know if you do make your own website and I'll go and check it out and see you guys later.